Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we are in Paolomen for the final Partisan and Mercenary quest. We are going to be doing uh, even shadier neighbors. Uh, and this starts with Thoromir Helmsbane right behind us. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready. Alright, hail. Thoromir Helmsbane is casually talking with the other members of the party, clearing up any confusion and giving in individual orders for the next steps as you greet him. E there, I don't know where ye are, but it doesn't matter who ye are. I've seen ye help in the Elder, so ye clearly understand which side of history is the right one to be on. He raises his voice and addresses everyone. On this day, we will be triumphant in our actions. We will be remembered for our bravery, and we will stand tall above the oppressors. He turns his back to you to address you. Ah, as you already know, the time for action is upon us. Tell me, outsider, do you have the courage to stand with us today? I have the courage every day. Thormir Helmsbane bellows out a victorious laugh before he continues. Aye, that's the spirit. We have a few irons in the fire that were getting getting too hot, and so it's time to hammer it or get out of the forge. He whistles loudly. He waves his arms as if to signal to everyone that he is ready to move forward. You see the Eldar begin to work faster and with more commitment he looks proudly over everybody working together before addressing you never averting his eyes from the people around him a as you can see the preparations continue here are you ready to take the fight to the Ralosians? i am ready i am more than ready <laughs> all right um, helmsbane gives you a grin and slaps you on the back roughly he's reveling in this moment Great news. Before you get started, find the leader of the Eldar Peeper and let him know that I am ready. He will know to, what to do after that. Good luck, soldier. All right, so now we need to go and tell uh, Moloin all the way up here that we are ready. So uh, let's go ahead, speed up, and invis. We're just going to call everybody up there. I probably could have already prepped this, but... You know, I just want to get these done so we can uh, be 125. Uh, we're all pretty much 90% away. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. And then at 125, I mean, well, we don't with Lorian Song, I think. There's like one more video I need to make, but uh, we'll be done. And it'll be fantastic. All right. Let's go ahead and call everybody up here to Molly. I'm probably saying that it's probably like mole, mole win, or something like that. All right, let's hail. All right, hail. We are past that now, Holdridge. Though it appears that our plans were fruitless. Oh wait, no, that's the old quest. So uh, Thor here is ready. Willowin's fate has a sour look on his face. This man hasn't felt the warmth of a smile across his face in some time. As you say the words to him, he takes a brief moment to absorb what you have said. You see his eyes well up on, with something that you have not seen on his face in some time since you've known him. Hope. Those adventurers have done so much for our people. They deserve all the happiness in the world. His tears well up enough to fall down his cheek. He wipes it and sniffs before collecting himself. Right, the task at hand. We need to clear out as many of the Ralosians as we can. Culling their numbers will help with the next step. Where we uh, go after Doc and end this once and for all. Once finished, return to Thormir for further instructions. Alright, so we need to go kill Ralosian Conquerors and Ralosian Lieutenants. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, these have placeholders. <laughs> so, we sort the Alpha here by name. 
and then go to Ralosian. So here's the lieutenants. Those are easy, right? Uh, but the conquerors, which I don't believe there's a, there's a few up right now. So uh, we need to go and just pretty much dispatch a bunch of those. So that is the plan. Uh, we are going to go, I think, probably, do, 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 I think, probably right around here. So I'm going to get everybody in position and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so right here there are some goblins and there is a lieutenant in the bunch here. So we're going to kind of take out these guys right here right now and we'll kind of go with it from there. There we go and let's get a mod rod for everybody going. And so when we kill these four, we should ding, theoretically, it's like 8% experience. Uh, plus, by the time we kill four of them, we should get a little bit further, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll definitely ding on the next, on the other quest, but uh, not much changes when we get 125, really. I can put some different gear on real quick, but that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all my gear and upgrade it all. Like uh, I do have like half a bag of 125 gear I've gathered and stuff like that, but... It's uh, not a whole lot. I've been doing the mission as much as possible, uh, but even then, it's I'm not really getting upgrades. Uh, like I've only gotten three pieces of armor, a bow, and a shield. I think that's th the tier three weapon, but I don't have any of the containers yet. So uh, I suspect that after we finish finish Lorian's song. I'll be doing uh, trade skills on one of these guys because I've just been really focusing on to uh, get to 125. I think Voxel's the one I'm going to be doing uh, all my trade, trade skill stuff on, so I'll get him uh, get him started. I'll probably make a video per one just showing uh, some resources and stuff. I, I did an overall video on trade skills uh, but I'm going to show some other stuff in there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We got one, one lieutenant. <laughs> this is, this is going to take a while of grinding. This is 20 mobs, right? And, uh, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to kill a few of these. Uh, I'm trying to ding is really what I'm trying to do before I do my cut, <laughs> my cut to the end. Right. But, uh, this, this quest has a lot of killing. Uh, so we kill, uh, these 20. And then we have to kill the named ones. And I think that's it. So this is going to be a pretty fun quest to finish this all up on. And it kind of timed out right, right? Like we've, when I did Voxel, right, he was already done with the entire Lorian song before he hit 120. And uh, with that knowledge of how I leveled him, I, I was able to pace everything just right to uh, end up at the end here with uh, everything we pretty much need, right? All the, this will get us all the partisans, all the mercenaries done. I still have one more mission to do, and I, I just, I'm not sure if I can box it. I think I'll have a better chance of boxing it at 125. And uh, I haven't even made it. Oh my God, where'd this wolf come from? I'm a fox. I mean, come on, really? Nothing's safe for me in this zone. go let's get some dots on there all right perfect oh there we go so 90 percent i think some of these are closer like the mage she's at 91 Everybody gets random uh, overseer quests, right? So it's like you don't get the same ones every day, so they all get different things. And I do the research ones because I only I only bother with the uh, overseer once a day, and those are 24 hours. Uh, you would get optimize it better if you uh, put the effort into it, but I don't. All right, there we go. That is the mercenary of Paolo Men completed. Oh, hello, <laughs> 125, ah, 125, let's see here, 
Yeah, you can see that. All the 125 is popping right now. So that's, uh, let's see here. Voxels already 125. Bard didn't make it. Bard did not make it. She, she yeah, she was way off, I guess. Uh, Mage hit 125. She didn't. <laughs> the Shaman did. All right, so we got, uh, we're all 125-ish now, so that's nice. So that worked out perfectly. All right, let's keep looking around here and uh, go from there. All right, so here is a Conqueror. We'll go ahead and pull one of them. <laughs> so it's, it has been, uh, it's been oh, a little bit of time because I've been killing all the placeholders, but nothing's spawning, so. This is just gonna take a while, so. We're gonna kill this one together and then I'll kill the rest and then we'll go to the next part of the quest. Because it's, it's literally probably gonna take me a day to do this. It's not even that many up on tracking at the moment. But uh, they died pretty quick. And uh, now that we're 125, you know, have uh, AAs on, so kind of need to <laughs> getting like two per so it's pretty nice at the moment there we go there we go all right so that's the as for the conquerors they just spawn around here the uh uh i don't know what the actual placeholders are but I'm assuming it's in these little spots where all the red ones are. I think that it's kind of like the same concept. So I'm going to keep just grinding these out until uh, we're done. Alrighty, an afternoon later, <laughs> we are down to the last mob. I killed all the conquerors and uh, that took forever. So I, I went over here to this spot where we uh, kind of start. There's a nice little safe area right about where the mouse is. And I sat there and I pulled this camp here, or the Crusher Camp, I guess is what it's called. Uh, there's like four uh, placeholders for Conquerors right there, the Commanders and the Spell uh, Casters or whatever, uh, which made it really nice. You know, it was, it was a safe spot, so I could just pretty much, you know, pull and then invis and then AFK, right? And it worked out pretty well. Uh, so just a matter of, you know, getting mana back and whatnot. So I had a, a good time there. Uh, and then the lieutenants, I'm up here at this, uh, right above the General Dotal uh, camp. It's probably one of the better spots. All right, so we need to return to Thormir right now. So uh, let's do that. He's back in the middle of the zone. All righty, here he is. Let's hail him. Let's see, Helmsbane opens his mouth to greet you, but immediately regrets it as a large pile of ash lands on his tongue as he attempts to speak. He reflexively turns to spit away from you, accidentally spitting on the boots of Istel, who is now staring uh, daggers through Thormir. So he scrapes his toe with his boot on the forest floor, trying to clean it off. The coughing ends and Thormir addresses you. Aye, that was embarrassing, but good thing old Istil here understands that I didn't mean anything by it. Istil snorts and turns his attention back to the plan in motion. He remembers Snart, that wee little bugger. I think it's about time we pay him a visit. And he gets his up and comings. Uh, comeuppance, I guess, huh? You uh, know where to find him. He's a cruel, but not particularly clever, I think. Just, <laughs> he just thinks he is. All right, so we need to go kill Snort, or Snart. Uh, so let's uh, go do that. Hold on. What is this? This is a GM event or something going on here. You see my pet dragon? They escaped from my shop. Could you please seek me out near the Nexus Stone and plane of knowledge? I need your help finding them. Oh man, if that's still going on after this video, <laughs> we'll do that. Alright, we're all here at Snart, and uh, it's time for him to to die. Alright, we just gotta hail him first. 
Uh, there we go. He says, I knew this day would come, the day where you would try to dispatch me on this eve, the eve of my victory. You cannot be allowed to surpass me. Now die. Well, I don't think that's uh, in the cards for you there, buddy. But, uh, yeah. Alright, he's looking pretty good here. Go for uh, prod the tree. Call it skeletons. Come on. Well, mine doesn't great. I guess the tree is not coming anytime soon. All right. Easy. All right. And everybody got a map on their hand, which are the orders we need to go turn in. So we need to go all the way back over there to Thormir and turn these in so I'm gonna run and do that all right we're back here at Thormir we can go ahead and hail him or actually no, we deliver the note to him Helm's Bane beams a large grin at you when you approach he coming back make sure it means you finish the job excellent work I was tired of that creature being a menace to these people he takes the missive and reads it to himself. His reaction shows that he might not have had been reading the same words you read. He not only approves as he reads the missive. Ha! Ah, we now know where and when the army will be staging its next push. That's where we can strike. Putting their numbers in disarray at the height of their preparations will cause the most chaos for the leaders. A great work finding this. Shall Owen wanted to speak with you yet again? See what she has to say. We continue our prep. All right, so we got to talk to Shallow. Shallow speaks to you, but her words do not reach your ears, as if she's speaking to an ethereal voice of Shallow. Wayne grows in your mind, talk talking over the Shallow Wayne that is standing in front of you. Adventurer, I'm begging you, please do not go further into this story. You will only find ruin. You will only find pain. You're going to speak to Elmer next. Try to convince her not to go forward with this plan. Or better yet, why don't you come back to the inn? Where it's warm and cozy. The band is back from their break and it's ready to start playing again. As you, as, as soon as you hear the real voice ends, the Shalloween in front of you is wrapping up what she's saying. And that's why I was just speaking to Elmra, Elmara about your next step i think it's best to take her advice and see where this goes all right so now we need to talk to elmra um El, elmara she is i believe like a publis right trying to remember here yeah she's up here oh i thought i was gonna follow her all right we go ahead and hail her elmar elmar Elmara Emberclaw is meditating as you approach her just as you open your mouth to speak. Her eyes open and she interrupts. Oh, you look as ready to put an end of all this as we are. There's nothing you can say or do to change our minds about this. We are going to free the Elder, def defeat the Ralosians, and bring order to Balomen. Once and for all, I am. I know I am ready to bring this fight to Doc. You should be too. Everything is in order for us to draw out Doc and end this. She is very excited at this moment, and you take a moment to think about Shalloween's words, but you keep marching forward. All right, now we have to go kill Doc. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, he spawns in this general area. Uh, I know there's one up right there right now. So that's where we're gonna head next. <laughs> I just got killed <laughs> trying to kill a damn Puma. Oh my god. I literally kill a Puma and I get killed by all. Alright, well, we're delayed now. Alrighty. So. There is Doc right there. Uh, we want to pull him uh, as solo as possible. So I'm going to start uh, trying to do it with my uh, bard here. I'm just going to lull all these guys that I can. Hopefully I can get uh, enough of them before uh, before 
before I need to. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Alright, I guess we're, uh, we're fighting. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm not, uh, I guess I got resisted on that, but that's fine. Let's get a mantle here. Let's get him real slowed. Let's get that guy back on me. He's slowed. Right. Well, the cool thing about Paladin, right, is our self heals are so insanely strong. Uh, or not our self heals, our target to target heals. There has been more times than not that I've uh, gone into combat and like the cleric just like wasn't there, and I got through it uh, without even healing. From the cleric so it's kind of funny but then there's sometimes I just get absolutely destroyed so I don't know totally random I guess All right, let's get this guy slowed but yeah I could I couldn't fight back against the guards I don't know what I don't know what I did to make them assist because I've, I've like accidentally attacked them before and they don't attack so I'm not, maybe they assist the Pumas or something? I don't know. Because I don't have anything that's AoE. Unless I like targeted one of them or something like that. I don't know. Alright, I think we're uh, good to go here. And then I have uh, tier 2 weapons on my bard now. I had them in a bag from uh, the Palamone. Palamone. Our pal. Lemon, Lemon, Paolo Min. I totally forgot how to say it. Uh, mission uh, that I've been doing since like 121. So she's got uh, weapons now. They're like 22 ratio or something like that. It's insane. Go 100 A. What are you at? 203. Perfect. All right your synergy there I'm, uh, my client is laggy I have not closed it in like four days now grinding out the last bit of videos here <laughs> trying to knock it all out and uh, I must say it's kind of annoying that it's this laggy at this point um, used to be it'd be like six hours and the client gets like this now it's like I guess I'm at four days or actually what's my session at three days seven hours so uh, that's how long they've been logged in <laughs> but uh took me 35 days of playtime with a lot of AK AFK to get to 125 created this guy on December 15 2023 so definitely uh Definitely, uh, having a good time with this one. All right, you want to try that again there, Barty? I don't know. All right. Let's see if we can lull that one. Lull that one. And lull that one. All right, and then heroic leap. Got him. Oh my god, he still killed her. <laughs> Couldn't get it off her. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good here. He's red. All right, I do, I do need to get you up. Took a, I did a call that time. 
so she'd come back with a little bit of resources there. I can res her after the fact. All right. Let's get this guy slowed. Come on. There we go. All right, we're good to go now. <laughs> Jeez, absolute chaos there. But this spot right here is the spot I was talking about for the uh, conquest guys, or the conquerors. I don't remember what they're called, but right here is uh, relatively safe. Nothing paths here, uh, so you're you're pretty good to go here. Let's uh, let's just make this quick. Here, I'm gonna use all my burns. There we go. I should speed this up slightly. Not that it matters. The uh. <laughs> Mage is like out of mana constantly. There we go. This guy's this guy is like 129, right? I think he's the same level as the normal names. And then he sees Invis, he sees Invis Undead, he sees uh Rogue Invis too, I guess. So it's like he's just like unique in that regard. Right, can we get a decree, please? All right, wounds has got go. Oh. Wounds is gonna go into second stage here in just a second. There we go. Nice. Still, I gotta fix that. Oh my gosh, so close. <laughs> and the other guy's like half-life just from like passively hitting with whatever whoever's tanking it. I think one of the pets probably. Yeah. There we go. We got him. Now we need to return to Shalawain and talk to her. So uh, we're going to kill this guy and do that. Well, we got to res the uh, bard. Might as well res her while we're standing here. Blessing of Resurrection. I should have Divine Resurrection, actually. And let's just... Oh, you don't even have the mana to do it. Alright. Speed and... Invis. We'll run the... Or we'll run the Mage right over there. Because it's like literally right over here. All right, so this should be the end of Paolo Men. 112 points. We're working on the synergy on everybody right now to get their 125 synergy. All right, let's hail her. Bellowing greets you and begins to speak, but you hear two voices coming from the same mouth, one younger and hopeful sound, one Younger of the younger, hopeful sounding Shallowin. Um, while the other is the ethereal voice you heard earlier. This day I cannot come to terms with what happened this day. Its existence tears at the fabric of our reality. Our home here in this inn it feels so flimsy, like it can be lost at any moment if we're not careful. Our actions on this day set forth a chain of events that could not. Set forth a chain of events that we could not have anticipated. There is nothing more you can do here. Speak to me in the end and I'll show you what happened next. Alright, so 
Uh, we are now the champion of Lorian's song. We are the partisan of Paolo Men. So we got 18% experience, 27% experience, putting us at like 48% into 125. Smart me would have probably saved it for, uh, you know, another character, but I wouldn't have finished the quest. So, uh, we got those done. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, we should have got a pony. Uh, let's see here. Should have got a pony out. Did I? Oh, we got experience for that one. Oh, we don't get it until we finish the. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. To get the pony, you have to do everything yeah we haven't done the last mission yet so there we go we still have that to do and we'll do that at some point uh but there we go uh that is uh that is all of the quests in lorian's song there's one more mission and then there's two more like special quests for the lost and found ring uh that we will do at some point uh not concerned about them right now uh, since it is anniversary time, I am going to try to complete a few more anniversary quests. I did some of those early on, uh, the ones like the feather and stuff. There's a few other, like a horn, a fishing pole and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get knocked out before I uh, move forward with anything else there. And grind AAs. Uh, what, what's what's the future of uh, Holdridge, right? So I don't plan on canceling them. I don't plan on doing anything like that. I plan on continuing. Um... I think that the smartest move is to go to Burning Lands and complete the Burning Lands so that we can get uh, Paragon of Burning Lands to get the John's Va Jan's Veil. So that is uh, that is like one of my goals. Uh, we also need to go to Night of Shadows and complete all of it. <laughs> All of it to evolve the cloak uh, to max level. Uh, the max level cloak is better than the tier three group cloak, so you know that's worth doing still. And the stats are really nice too. On top of that, and uh, yeah, we're also going to have to finish uh, Hunter for Lorian Song. We're not really close at all. Uh, just whatever I've killed as we've uh, run through the game. <laughs> Uh, like we're almost done with that zone, so we need to do that to evolve the necklace later on. And uh, let's see here, uh, something, something else. But uh, that's kind of the plan moving forward. I am gonna take a break. I have recorded enough episodes to give me a break for a few days, so I'm probably just gonna focus on AAs to kind of get to uh, 200, and then. Uh, before I start something else because it is uh it's very time consuming to record videos and stuff like that so uh but there we go it is done thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day